at Ella's Wheelchair Workout. We're back, we're back for another week and guess what I've got today? Yes, I've got my broom back. I'm bringing it back with some new exercises today. So you are gonna need your broom as one of your pieces of equipment. You're also going to need two of your weights or whatever you normally use as weights, whether this is your tins of beans or your big bottles of water, whatever you normally use, you need to grab them as well now. You need two of them. And then finally, for our cool down guys, we are gonna need our TheraBand as usual to do some nice good stretching at the end. So if you wanna grab all of them, I'll let you find all those bits and bobs. We haven't used our brooms for a while, so you might have actually been using it for your cleaning instead. Who knew? Um, but I'm really excited about this workout. I love it. The new exercises I found with the brooms have been really beneficial for me, so hopefully they are for you as well. Um, but guys, as usual, make sure you're all safe and you've seek medical attention before you do anything in this video. Make sure you're clear to do exercise. And I can't see with you. You can't see. Uh, you can only see me. So I don't know what you're doing. So please just follow as I say, and hopefully we can stay nice and safe and not injure you. Really, really fun exercises for you today. We've got six to do, and we'll be working for forty seconds on and twenty seconds off. So that recovery time is shorter. And there will be a lot of changing equipment throughout. So we're going from a broom exercise, then we're going to do a weight exercise, then we're going to do a broom exercise and a weight exercise and so on. So alternating, alternating it, sorry. So I hope that makes sense. And as usual, guys, we'll do a five minute warm up and a five minute cool down because it's important to warm those muscles up and stretch them down after. So I hope you're ready. I'm ready if you are. And we'll get on with today's workout. So I'm going to start our timer. And we're just going to go for five minutes and we're going to start off with our punches because it's been a while. Let's face it, not done our punches for a while. Really good. So relax those shoulders, keep those elbows in and like get in that boxing position. Well done. Really good. My oh, wheel's making a noise today. I'm not sure why. That's it, keep those arms going, keep punching as fast as you can. Really good, you got about 30 seconds left. Just really warm those arms up. Yeah, really good guys, keep it up, keep going. Last 10 seconds now, to so see if you can go even faster, really challenge yourself. Five, four, Three, two, one, and rest your arms there. Well done, really good job. Shake them out, make sure you're nice and loose. And we're just gonna go into our reaches with the side bend to continue our warm up. So reach from one side and then the other, as far as you can go. I had a mild panic today. Before I filmed this video, I thought I'd lost my broom. I thought my mum might have actually been using it for cleaning, which is a, a shock. <laughs> so I had to actually go looking around the house for it. All right, guys, we've got about five seconds left of this, so one more on each, five more on each side. Three, four, five, and rest your arms there. Well done. And you know the drill, you know what's next. We're going into our lawn mode. So if you haven't done these before, all you're gonna do is a short pull with your elbow nice and high, and a long pull following your arm all the way, all the way through. So we've got 10 on each arm. Whenever you're ready, off you go. One, two, because it looks like you're starting a lawn mode. That's why we call it the lawn mode. Four, five, Six, seven, eight, nine, and one more to ten. Really good. And the other side, off we go. One, two, three, four, five. Seven, eight, 
nine and one more on this arm. Ten. Really good. Oops, that arm feels stiff today. Shake it out. Make sure you're nice and loose. There you go. And we're just going to finish off our warm up with our neck stretches as usual. So make sure those shoulders are nice and level and down. And all you're going to do is sit nice and tall and look from left to right, nice and slowly. You're going to do this ten times. So two, three, four, five, six. Seven, eight, nine, and one more. Ten. Really good job, guys. Well done. Shake it all out. I have got next door doing some drilling, so I hope you can't hear it. I'm hoping the music's going to cover up. Fingers crossed. So grab a quick drink, guys. I forgot to say at the beginning, make sure you've got a water bottle ready with lots of water ready so you can keep nice and hydrated. So grab a quick drink and for your first exercise, you're going to need to grab your broom. So this is a new one I'm adding in. Um, so for the first exercise, all you're going to do is have your broom above your head. You're going to bring it down into a W shape behind your head. So your elbows are bent and in a W shape. So you're squeezing your shoulder blades together and then you're just going to extend it back up. So you're going to go down and up, down and up. If you struggle to get the broom behind your head, then you can just come down in front into that W shape, still squeezing those shoulder blades together. Like down and then up, down and then up, as it's still working the same muscles. So when you squeeze your shoulder blades together, make sure you uh, pretend you've got a pencil in between your shoulder blades and you're squeeze, bringing your shoulder blades back and down, squeezing them together so you're trying to keep that pencil in place. It makes you have really good posture, but it also will work those shoulder blades really hard, um, especially with the broom. So if you're ready, we're going to call these, what do I call them? Broom W's maybe? Would that make sense? Let's go with broom W's. I'm going to call it for that from now onwards. So if you're ready, we're going to go in three, two, one, and off we go. We're going for 40 seconds. Really good, nice, good W shape. Having those arms a bit further apart. And down. Twenty seconds long. Little bit deceiving. It. You think it's gonna be easy? But it's working my balance and it's working my shoulder blades. Five, four, three, two, one, and rest your arms there. Well done, really good job. Okay, so we've done that once. We'll have 20 seconds rest, and then we'll go for a second time. Oh, quite tricky. The rest is quite short, so we're going to go again in five seconds time. Three, two, one, and off you go. Shoulder blades right down. And again, and again. Try not have your head too far forward. You want to keep it up as much as possible. Like the seconds, the beginning, and the end. Really good. Keep going, guys. You've got 10 seconds left. Your picture's gonna bring it home to me again. Five. Four, three, two, one, and rest your arms there. Really, really good job. Well done, guys. You can pop your broom down. Wait, I'll finish with them. Oh, that really does get your arms moving. My shoulder blades have definitely woken up now. Grab a quick drink, and you'll need to grab your weights for your next exercise. You'll need both of them because we're going back to our old friends, our favourites. We're going to do our lateral raises again, so you're going to have your weights by your side. You're just going to raise them up so they're in a straight line with your shoulders and come back down. And the idea is that you keep your core as stable as possible when you do this. And you raise them up so they're in a straight line and control it back down. 
You don't want to go up and down too fast. You want to go up and control it down. Really good. So we're going to go for 40 seconds. It's quite hard, but we can do it. So three, two, one, and off you go. Nice, controlled. Really good. Try and keep those shoulders level. Twenty seconds gone. You're halfway. Keep going. It's never get easier. I always think it would. Go. Ten seconds. Five, four, three, two, one, and rest your arms there. Well done, really, really good job. Nah, they really don't get easier, and I don't get any better at them. <laughs> so really good job. Remember, it's only a short break, so we're gonna go again in three, two, one, and off you go, up and down. Really good job, nice and controlled. Don't go too fast, bring those arms up and back down again. 15 seconds left, keep going guys. Really good job, five, four, three, two, one, and rest your arms there, really good job. You can pop your weights down again. Give those arms a quick rest, grab a quick drink, and we'll go again with the oops, we'll go again with the broom shortly. Sorry, I just knocked my microphone. So have you heard a massive thud? I'm sorry. <laughs> oh yes, grab your broom guys, because we've got a nice fun new exercise next. I love this one. It's a new one I've added in with the broom, and it's basically a broom wood chop. So if you've ever done a wood chop with a weight, where you start up here and you come down diagonally and then you go back up, we're basically going to do that with a broom. So all you're going to do is start with the broom up top, you're going to come down diagonally and go back up. So you're just going to down and up, down and up, and obviously we're going to do it twice. So for the second time, you're going to switch over and you're going to do the other side. And you're going to get as much range of movement as possible. Try and keep those arms like fairly straight, you might have a little bit of a bend in them, and you're just going to go as fast as you can. So pick whatever side you want to go first, and we're going to go in three, two, one, and off you go, up and down, up and down. I do recommend having a lot of space around for this, I feel like my settee might get in the way. That's it, keep a nice, good momentum. And kind of swing your body into a twist. Really good, you've got 10 seconds left. Really good job, well done. Ooh, a little bit more tiring than I thought on this one. Right, I'm going to put my brakes on again. And this time you're going to change sides. So you might want to switch your broom round. And you're going to go from the other diagonal down to the other diagonal. In three, two, one, and off you go. Up and down. Up and down. Yeah, really good guys, keep up that momentum. <laughs> 15 seconds left. This is more tiring than I thought it was. Three, two, one, and rest your arms there. Really good job, well done guys. 
Hope you enjoyed that one. There's a nice new one I've added in, so you can pop your broom down again. Give those arms a quick rest, maybe grab a drink if you need to as well. And we'll get ready to go onto the overhead tricep extension next. You only need one weight for the next one. So if you want to grab just the one weight, all you're going to do is have both hands on your weight, raise it up above your head, drop it down behind your head and extend back up. If you struggle with balance and can't do it with two hands, and that's fine because you can just do it one handed as we're going to do it twice so you can switch over for the second set, whatever might be easiest for you. Find the most comfortable for you. And we're going to go in three, two, one, and off we go. Really extend up. Engage that core to keep you nice and balanced. Really good job, guys. Well done. 20 seconds, you're halfway through. Keep extending, really good. Five, four, three, two, one, and rest your arms there, really good. They are also something that never gets easier either. They're so hard. <laughs> and if you did one arm this time, guys, you're gonna switch over and do the other arm this time. Make sure you work each arm fairly. And we're gonna go in three, Two, one, and off we go. I'm gonna keep my balance today. Tricky. The storms we chase are leading us, and love is all we'll ever trust. Yeah, no, I don't really good. Extend up as far as you can go. Oh, feeling it going now on the triceps. Final 10 seconds, I keep going. Five, four, three, two, one, and rest there. Well done, really good. You can pop the weight down again. Feeling that burn in the triceps today. Well done, really good. My muscles are feeling nice and worked already. We've got two more exercises left guys, we've got a broom exercise and we've got one more weight exercise left. So for exercise number five, you're going to need your broom again, our good old friend. And this time we're just going to do broom raises, so all you're going to do is have your arms straight, you're going to raise them up so they come above your head and back down. The idea is, you're just raising your arms as quickly as possible, keeping those arms nice and straight if you can. You might have to have a slight bend in them just to counter out your balance, it's up to you. And um, whatever works for you. And just go as fast as you can. You might think that I'm not going very fast, it's because I'm trying to balance at the same time and stop myself falling forward. Um, so some of you might be in the same situation, so that's fine, just go as fast as you can. If you can go faster than me, even better. So we're gonna go in three, two, one, and off we go. Really good. You need to use the broom to like recover your balance at the bottom. That's fine. 20 seconds on, you're halfway. Really good job guys, keep it up, 10 seconds left. really good job. Ooh, that's tough. When you bring your arms up, guys, try and relax your shoulders as much as possible. You don't want them all tense up, you want to just relax them and bring your arms up. We're going to go again in three, two, one, and off we go. Last time on the broom. Really good job, guys. Keep it up. Up and 
and down. Up and down. As fast as you can. Halfway, you've done 20 seconds. Left, guys, keep going. Really good. Five, four, three, two, one, and rest your arms there. Really good job. You can put our beloved broom down now. We are finished with them. Really good job. Have a quick break, grab a quick drink, and we'll go on to the final exercise shortly. This time, because we haven't done them yet, and you know I always like to include a weight exercise like this in my workouts, we're going to do our shoulder presses. So all you're going to do is have your arms up at 90 degree angle with your weight in them. You're going to reach up to the sky as far as you can go and then come down to that 90 degree angle. If you struggle with balance, a bit like I am today, you might want to work just one arm at a time. And I actually think I might do that today just because I am really struggling to keep my balance. I don't think I'm sitting right today, so hopefully the one arm shoulder press will help that. And we're going to do it twice so you can switch over to the next set. So we're going to go in three, two, one, and off we go. Always come down to that 90 degree angle. Don't let your elbow drop low, you want to come to there. Really good. 20 seconds gone. Okay, good. Keep it going. 10 seconds left. Five, four, three, two, one and rest your arm there really good you've got 20 seconds left pop your weights down on your lap just give your arms a quick rest as much as possible and then we're going to go again shortly if you did one hand last time you're going to switch over and do the other hand this time and we're going to go in three two one and off we go i don't have as much movement on this left arm you can see my extension not as tall Really good job guys, halfway through. We've got 20 seconds left, that's all. Then we'll do a five minute cool down. Ten seconds, keep going guys. Push through that burn. Five, four, three, two, one and relax your arms there really good job well done you can pop your weights down we are finished with them now so just give those arms a nice good rest and whew, i know some of you will be sitting there like oh i'm so tired that's how i feel so um it's good because it means we've worked very very hard today and we've got some new broom exercises to add to our collection which is really exciting i love a good broom exercise so I'm glad you've experienced them too now. Grab a quick drink, guys. I just did, sorry. And uh, we'll get on with a five minute cool down very shortly. But for your cool down, you're going to need your resistance band or your TheraBand. So if you want to just pop it on your lap ready to go, just so it's nearby. And we'll do our arm rolls first and then we'll do our resistance bands. So if you're ready, we're just going to do 10 arm rolls backwards on each arm nice and slowly. So when you're ready, you're just going to follow me and we're going to go one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Nine and one more. Ten, really good job. And you're gonna switch over and do ten on the other arm too. One, two, three, four, 
five, six, seven, eight, nine, and one more. Ten. Really good job, guys. Well done. Shake out those arms. Make sure you're nice and loose and grab your resistance band for me. Really good. So all you're going to do is you're going to have your elbows into your body, your palms facing up with your resistance band in it, and you're going to have your shoulders nice and level. All you're going to do is pull out, add tension onto the band, and come back in. Bring it out and in. And we're going to do this 15 times. Four. Five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen. One more. Fifteen. Really good job, guys. Well done. You're then just going to have one hand by your side, the other hand out in front, and you're just going to extend up, pulling to add tension onto the band and come back down. But you're going to keep a nice straight arm at all times if you can. So one, two. Sorry, we'll do ten on each arm. Three, four. Five, six, seven, eight, nine, and one more. Ten. Really good job. Well done. And switch over. You're going to do ten on the other arm as well. Same thing. One, two, Three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and one more on this arm. Ten. Really good job, guys. Well done. You can pop your bands down. We are finished with them now. And we're just going to finish off with a few static stretches. So shake those arms out. And then you're just going to have your arms straight. Cross it across your body and just support it at the elbow with the other hand. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. And switch over. You're going to do the same with the other arm. Cross it across your body and hold it there. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Really good job. Well done, guys. And make sure you're nice and loose. We're just going to stretch our triceps. You're going to reach up, drop your arm down behind your back. And if you can, you're going to pull it across with the other hand. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, and stretch out and round, and same with the other arm, stretch up, drop it down and put it across, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, really good, and stretch out and round. That's it, nice good stretch, oh, feels good. And we're just gonna finish off our cool down with our neck stretches. So you're just gonna tilt your head to one side, and if you gently want to pull down, you can. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, and gently to the other side as well. Hold it there, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Really good job, guys. Well done. 
and shake it all out, get nice and loose. And grab a final drink, well done. And give yourselves a round of applause because that's about another 25 minute workout done. So tick, another one to add to our collection. So thank you so much guys for coming back and doing this water workout again with me. Um, thank you so much for bringing your brooms back and hopefully it's giving you some more exercises you can do with your brooms at home. And remember guys, you can come back and do this video anytime you want. If you're up at three o'clock in the morning and fancy doing a workout, then I'm here for you. That's what I'm here for. So I hope it helps and I hope you are keeping nice and fit and active at home. Guys, don't forget to subscribe to my channel, share my video around, like it and tell everyone all about it because the more people we can reach, the better. This is still going to go on for a little bit longer yet. So we need to help each other through and hopefully keep nice and fit and active at the same time. So thank you so much for joining me. Lovely to see you all and I'll be back again next week with another Ella's wheelchair workout. See you then.